The next test we're going to look at is the oxidase, well, yes, the oxidase test. Uh, this is whether or not um, cytochrome oxidase C, in this case, um, is produced by the bacteria. So we are actually going to start off with a swab. And we are going to take a swabbing of our bacteria, making sure that there is bacteria on the swab. Then we're going to need to take our oxidase reagent, break a little tubule inside. There we go. And then we're going to drop our reagent onto, and within five seconds, there should be a positive or negative result. In this case, this is a negative result. As you can see, it's a yellow color, not blue. If it were blue, that would be that the bacteria produces cytochrome oxidase. That was E. coli. Let's take a look at uh, a true control, just so you guys have it. And this is no bacteria. It's a yellow color. Next up, Proteus. Now the reason you don't want to let this sit for more than five minutes is because after around five minutes you still can get false positives. There we go. This one's a negative. Again, this is Citrobacter freyundi. And let five seconds go by to make sure that it's not a false positive, and that's also a negative.